What's up everybody? This is Jason from Our Garden Adventure and today we're going to be talking about rapid rooters. Now unfortunately I don't have any rapid rooters with me because I use them all and I'm not going to buy another pack until next year because they could dry out and then I'm out of an awesome product. But I am gonna tell you about how amazing these things are. When I first look, started looking online for gardening, gardening tips, any kind of research, everyone started talking about these rapid rooters, which when people started talking about them, I thought they were like little pills or something that you put in the basin of the soil and it acted like a fertilizer, but actually it's a really spongy little tube thing and you're gonna see them throughout the whole video series. I put the seeds inside them, they grow, whatever. They are an amazingly porous sponge-like material that come very moist and they act like a very porous, uh, coarse type of soil that adds a lot of airflow and it adds a lot of room to grow in them. These things are amazing. I cannot preach them enough. They absolutely helped my stuff grow. Link down in the description. These are Amazon affiliated links, so they don't cost anything extra to you, but it does give me a couple cents per purchase, which really helps us out. So I really appreciate that so much. That's it. That's the end of the advertisement. Let's get back to the video. Now, I never recorded this because, hey, why record awesome things? Uh, I was doing tests with some of the seeds what, if they would grow better in a rapid rooter versus soil. And every single one, 100% of the time, they grew better in the rapid rooter. And again, I don't have the documentation. They grew in the rapid rooter and maybe one out of 10, they actually grew from the soil. Like it was ridiculously bad how the soil worked. Now, I'm not being paid to say this. I am not sponsored by this company, but I cannot preach them enough. These are absolutely amazing. If, if you're like me, when you first get them, you're gonna be like, what the hell do I do? There's no instructions. There's no information that comes with them. I can't find a lot of information online. Basically what I did was I went to YouTube. I found two guys doing videos about this. The first guy said to cut them in half put the seeds inside, put it back together, put it inside the little planter in the dome. And I thought, well, that's kind of stupid because what happens when I want to move this to a bigger pot? So I watched another video. You take this, you take the rapid rooter, you take the seed, you put the seed in the rapid rooter, maybe an inch down max. I didn't even put them that far down. And you put it in the tube basin, put water in the bottom, put the dome on top, it grows. Amazing. Now here's the real cool kicker. How do I move them from here to there. Well, the best news I could possibly give you is it's incredibly easy. You literally take the entire rapid rooter out, you fill up your pot with soil, we'll get to that video soon, and then you just put the rapid rooter with the plant inside and the rapid rooter is gonna be covered with roots on the bottom. You just place it in here, cover it up with soil, plant sticking out, boom, that's done. Every single plant in our garden, except the cucumbers, Every other single plant that was grown from seed in our garden grew from a rapid rooter, went over here into the bigger pots, and then eventually went outside still with the rapid rooter totally intact. You don't need to take it off. You don't need to cut it off. I've read online that some people like to, to cut it off of the roots and then remove the... No, don't mess with your roots. Leave them as is. They grow fantastically well you will see throughout this series just how amazing some of these plants grow with the rapid rooter still in place. So it grows around it, it grows through it, you don't need to worry about it. I cannot preach these things enough, they are amazing. All right, and that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for joining us on Our Garden Adventure. Make, make sure you like and subscribe because it makes me feel fuzzy inside. Uh, if you do have any questions, put them down in the comments. Now, while I don't know everything, I am always happy to help out where I can. So ask questions, I will help. And hopefully other people will be watching this video too and they can answer your questions as well. Join us next time watching the main series, which is the real adventure, and then watching the .5 series, which is the explainer videos because I didn't do a good enough job during the first taping. I had to do it again. Guys, thank you so much for joining us.